It's just a lot, I think, for Coachella, especially the back. Oh. Hey sisters, James Charles here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. This weekend is absolutely iconic. After three years, we are finally going to Coachella and you guys are coming with me. But before we get to the festival and have a fun weekend partying together with the makeup, the outfits, the music, I want to take you guys behind the scenes of what it actually took to get ready for this weekend. Let's go. Today is Monday and it's the beginning of March, but the reason why I'm filming the intro to this video now is because today marks the beginning of our journey. Hi. <laughs> Today marks the beginning of our journey of getting ready for Coachella, and I really want to take you guys along with me on that process. Coachella is obviously a huge music festival that happens every single year in Palm Springs, California. It is always a festival where a lot of people are watching. It's always exciting to see the lineup, who's performing, how well they perform, which influencers and celebrities are going, what everybody's wearing, and it's a lot of fun. This year, I really wanted to do something just a little bit different. Uh, we haven't had a Coachella in over two years now because of COVID, so this is the first one in a very long time, and I feel like a lot has changed in the last two years obviously with the state of the world, but also with the state of me. I have gone every single year in the past. It's always one of my favorite times of the entire year. My outfits have been very much giving the vibes of like performance ready, pop star, white pleather outfits uh, that are very revealing and attention grabbing. The goal was always like, how can I take this photo to get the absolute most amount of attention and likes on social media? I have no problem openly admitting that. Uh, and thank God my mindset has changed a lot as a person over the past couple of years. Being in COVID and being at home a little bit more working on my own content, I now work with an amazing stylist named Lena, who you guys have met a million different times in my videos. And you know, throughout the last couple of years, we've really worked on developing my personal style, what I feel you know comfortable and confident in. And she's really taught me how to love myself and my body and really just rely on my self-confidence and how I feel in clothing uh, to enjoy an outfit or a picture rather than the amount of likes that it would actually get. And that brings us to this year where I'd really love to carry over that same mindset from my everyday fashion to my Coachella outfits as well. Now, okay, just wanna clarify, it's Coachella. It's fun, it's over the top, it's wild, it's crazy, it's fashionable. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, okay, and tell you that I'm gonna show up in a pair of pants and a hoodie covered from head to toe. It's not happening. So that being said, a couple of weeks ago, I sat down with my team and we had a lovely meeting to discuss kind of the overall vibes of the festival. My stylist Lena went away and has been working with some amazing independent designers over the past couple of weeks to get some ideas and sketches together. And she is currently waiting in the fitting room for the final presentation to tell me what I'm gonna be wearing to the festival. Y'all are coming with me, you got artist passes. So let's get ready for Coachella 2022. Yeah. Is it rolling? It is. <laughs> Let's try it again. Okay. <laughs> Hi. Hey, Lena. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you're just giving me some love on this oh, Monday. Oh, thank you so much. Bob. Let's discuss Coachella. So the first one I want to touch on is kind of like a knitwear fantasy. I think knit right now is booming and yeah. it's so great. People are wearing it in the desert. This is the mood board for the knit. I found a Whoa. insane designer wow. named Gregory. Yeah. Okay, so he did these sketches. Yes, on the top left. Yeah. I don't know how I feel about wearing a bikini. So these are all oh. of his. Yeah. So we have so many to choose from. Okay. But I went ahead and picked what I thought you would like the most and be the vibe. Hope that's okay. fine. No, definitely. I trust your um, vision. This is his first oh. sketch that he sent. Okay, I like the silhouette. I don't like the colors. Okay, it's so giving can to that. it's giving to um, autumn leaves. Okay, falling from the autumn nice crisp leaves. tree, okay. but it needs to give more like tan, sandy. Okay, we can easily desert. change that. But okay. you are you living for the fantasy? I am. That looks okay. really cool. Um, so the next designer we're gonna work with is La Rocks. Um, this is the sword for that. Oh, all diamonds will be so pretty in the scorching sun. That is it. Yeah, this is the sketch. <laughs> First of all, that is stunning. Yeah. So maybe this journal is gonna be open. We'll be fine. I'm gonna have to talk again. Yeah. I kind of got inspo from this from the temperature pants you wore. This is the mood board for it. So you want to do a full, a full cat suit? Oh. Is that fine? Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, a little, maybe. Oh, that's yeah, cool. So good. So the outlining and all of that is gonna be outlining the color to contour it more and give it more texture. So this is gonna be the one where I'm taking the insert photo, facing the back, showing the butt, but not like fully naked. Yeah, 100%. Great. Yeah. Thank you. Good morning, you guys. Today is March 28th. It is currently nine in the morning and we are in the car. It is, as you guys can see, pouring rain outside. Like a full on tsunami monsoon has hit Los Angeles this morning. We are on our way to my first measuring session for my Coachella fits. I'm so excited. We're going to see LA Rocks. His name is Sharon, his studio. He's going to measure my full body so we can be perfectly fitted and ready to go for the different outfits. We're gonna head over there in the rain, pray that we make it there safely. And then I will see you guys there. Cool. Wow. Oh, color coordinated. Um, let's do shirtless. Let me put your pants on. I think. Okay. Fourteen and a quarter. Oh. <laughs> Thirty-one and a quarter. Forty-three. Did you just hear that waist to hip ratio, everybody? Thirty to a forty-three. You just got slayed. Oh god. <laughs> 23. <gasps> You're just a large. <gasps> we can do something like this, or do you want something more sparkly? Hell yeah. Yeah, that's what Yeah, just in case. Yeah. So appreciate you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Currently, April 5th, guys. It is 9.30 in the morning. I am awake, rising, and shining. Normally, 9.30 is a pretty early time for me. However, I got in late last night from Vegas. I had a crazy partying weekend, and I'm running on three hours of sleep, so I'm not doing well today. No, 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 no. We are currently on the way to Sev Laser, which is where I get my laser appointments in the mornings. I have to get my pussy zapped, so it's nice and hairless, and there's no razor bumps, because I learned my lesson a couple of years ago, not making the same mistake twice. And I also have a Botox appointment today at two, because I have not gotten it in a year or two. It's getting close. I'm getting excited. Currently getting the waist snatched. I have to come two times a week starting today, every single day. Up. Oh my God. I'm to go tell This hurts so bad. Hello. Hi, Priscilla. Hi. How are you? Good. This is my amazing nail tech, Priscilla. She's been responsible for not only the almond nail shape, okay? Everybody say thank you, Priscilla. <laughs> this moment's gonna be a little bit different because we will not be showcasing any of Priscilla's amazing talents. We're actually going to be ripping off all 10 of my nails. Obviously, when you get your nails done, you're kind of stuck with the same design for a couple of weeks, unless you're a talented nail artist, which I am not. Um, and I was thinking it would kind of be really cool to have nails that match each of the individual outfits. So I found a really amazingly talented nail artist that works with a lot of actually my drag queen friends. Her name is Jennifer. Her Instagram is Queen Custom Claw. She does the most incredible work ever. And I basically reached out to her and said, like, would you be interested in working with me for some press-on nails for Coachella? I messaged her a couple of weeks ago. I sent her the outfits that I wanted to work on and she FaceTimed me literally within like 24 hours and had all sorts of designs to choose from. Hi, Queen! Hey! How are you? Good! We went through the design process, we picked some ones that we loved, we picked some ones that we didn't love, made some notes, and I think she officially finished the designs and is coming over later on today to drop them off. Hi, Queen! Hello! I, can I open these? Yeah, I put like little sticky notes on oh, them. Which one so is cute which? with the bows and everything. I don't even want to mess it up. <laughs> oh my god, such a good vibe. They're gonna match perfectly. I love it. Oh. Oh wow. That is gorgeous. Yeah, those those, are, those are so cool. Incredible. Oh Amazing. my gosh. Thank you so much. Good morning, you guys. Today is Wednesday, April 13th, and today is the day, the last day of Coachella preparations. We leave for the desert tomorrow morning on Thursday, bright and early. Lena's gonna pick up the customs later on tonight. I have my haircut today, I have my spray tan today, I have 
Oh, that's it. Okay, I also have to pack literally everything, makeup, hair, accessories, nails. Let's get started. It's been about 30 minutes, maybe a little bit longer. <laughs> and I think I have everything fully packed in here. Honestly, if I don't just sit here and like close this up, I'm gonna be sitting here for the next, you know, eight hours. Okay, here is literally everything inside of the suitcase. Actually, no, it's a lie. I haven't packed my toiletries yet. I literally have to still pack my toothbrush, hair dryer, straightening iron. Uh-oh. All right, you guys, it's spray tan time. Drew's here, also gonna get tan. I'm here with my girl. That's a no! My favorite person in the entire world. Yay. She's the one who tans me up and gets me bronze yes. and golden. Yes. Drew's getting sprayed right now. Wow. Ready to go. <laughs> who is this gorgeous the doll? doll. <laughs> the dolls are back together, everybody. <laughs> guys, we officially have everything packed and ready to go. We had to split it into two suitcases. I literally can't even lift this one. This is a full weekend of custom looks, party fits, makeup, hair, and slay. So, <laughs> let's go. Guys, we finally arrived at the house. Oh my god, so cute. Here we go. <gasps> Gorgeous. Oh my god, cute. Have our little kitchen, our living room. <gasps> Beautiful for spacious skies. Oh my God, you guys, we're at Coachella. <gasps> wow, fun. This is where I'll be twerking. This house that we stayed at a couple of years ago is literally exactly like this. This brings back scary memories, <laughs> but this year's gonna be great. Good morning, you guys. It is officially Coachella day number one. We're just all sitting here in the kitchen together, getting ready for the morning. Okay, you guys, I have my top fully on. <laughs> And I'm gonna start my makeup. I'm gonna bring everything out to the kitchen and get my glam on. All right, you guys, the makeup look is complete. Now we have to get dressed. And I wanna, I wanna have a little brief conversation with you guys too. Small and brief. I've got, a, uh, I've got a predicament that Lena and I, my amazing stylist, are in. We, yeah. this video started off by us talking about how I really wanted this year to be, I wanted to be attention grabbing without attention seeking. Mm -hmm. And last night when we got to our lovely Coachella home, we put on the full outfit, which by the way is literally amazing. The designers did an incredible job. As soon as we put the full outfit on, Lena and I literally just stood there silent, looked at each other and just burst out laughing. <laughs> oh my fucking God. What did we do? See, like, you know what I mean? Lovely. We have some solutions that I think are actually gorgeous and are gonna look really good yes. and very themed for Coachella. We have so. amazing ways to basically casualize the costume. So, yeah. Yes! Yes, Gaga, you look <laughs> It's so good. I mean, it's literally, it's made incredibly. It's exactly what the sketch was. It's just a lot, I think, for Coachella, especially the back. Oh, it tickled. So we're just gonna take photos in this full outfit and then we're gonna replace this with pants and it's gonna look so good for the festival. You guys are gonna see. No, yeah, I would, or Trevor, you can be where I am. That's literally the photo. I specialize in the perfect crop. That's I didn't know if you knew that, but. Do we like this? Yeah. Gorgeous. So pretty. Yeah. So we got our good photos with the full look on. And now I have these really good pair of just cargo pants, chocolate brown, that are gonna match the top literally perfectly. We are officially headed out of the house to go to the festival. I would love to film for myself, but the Wi-Fi here is so crappy, it's been taking 20 minutes to upload my simple one minute TikTok. Okay, parking took about an hour, literally since we left the house, but we are finally, finally making the long, long trek in to the festival. Let's go, you guys, it's time for a party. Later. Hello. Hi, vlog. It's two in the morning. I just got back home, wiped my makeup off. I'm exhausted. That was so much fun today. We literally checked my phone app. I walked seven and a half miles. Seven and a half miles. It is like exhausting to run 
two miles on the treadmill. How the f did I do seven miles today? Anita was amazing. Harry Styles was bomb. Giveon was amazing. Justin Bieber came out for Daniel Caesar, which was so cool. It was a good day. I saw so many people, took so many photos. The outfit was giving too. Definitely the pants were the right decision. I cannot wait to repeat it tomorrow. Good night. <laughs> Good morning, you guys. It is Coachella day at number two. I have been up for like three hours now. It is about 10.30. I could not sleep last night. I feel like I slept for literally one minute. We're gonna have an amazing day, even though I'm exhausted. Let's get started. So I'm fully ready for the day today. This is my fun green outfit. This is not my hotel outfit. Uh, we actually just headed over to the Revolve party and then left because we want to get to the festival earlier today. Um, but now that I am back, I posted a picture of this outfit on my story and I'm getting so many compliments on it. It's not even funny. I might wear this. I'm going to try it on and see what the vibes are and see like how confident that I'm feeling. But I honestly might end up just putting this outfit back on because this one's really, really cute. And I have the matching glasses. Like, yeah. It's a vibe, but let's see. Lena Cam, baby, we are outside. We are taking pics. So we posted the video on TikTok, getting ready into this outfit today. And we showed the green outfit because obviously I was wearing it. And I asked the viewers opinions and so far, it seems like everybody wants the green outfit. We did take a photo in this one, so we did get some Instagram content at least, but I'm really, I'm, I'm like torn. I really am. I mean, we're, we're going with the green, spoiler alert. All right, girlies, we're at Miss Megan the Stallion. You have friends now. Just got back home from the festival. It is about midnight, so definitely much earlier than last night. We were all feeling exhausted, but had a great time. It is pitch black in here, hello? My feet are killing me. It was so windy today. It was so cold at night as well. It feels great to be back home in the house. We're gonna de-glam, get our outfits off. Then I think we're gonna go soak in the hot tub and have a lovely evening before we're going to bed. So I'm gonna sign off from today's vlog and I will see you guys tomorrow morning for our last and final day, Coachella day number three. Good night. Day number three. I just sat down to get ready. I do not feel good today. I don't know what happened yesterday. I only had like one shot and a slight mixed drink. I did not even feel like even tipsy, let alone drunk. I woke up today feeling like the worst hangover in my entire life. I don't know if I wasn't drinking enough water or if I didn't eat enough yesterday, but I do not feel good and gorgeous. But we're going to power through because today is going to be the best day by far. There's going to be Doja Cat today, Kim Petras is today. I'm so pumped it's not even funny. So <sighs> let's get ready. This heat map makeup look, I am literally obsessed. Oh my God, this turned out so, so cool. It's gonna match the outfit perfectly. Let's go get dressed. All right, you guys, so here is the day number three full look off complete. We have this rainbow thermal bodysuit on. I did decide to go with the pants to add to the top of it. We're gonna head to the festival. We're several hours earlier than we were beforehand too, so this is a good, good vibe. Let's go. We're gonna go see Kim Petras, I'm so excited. Record as if you were even gonna be able to see anything. Are the lights just broken? Yeah, probably. There we go. Finally home. Hi. Hello, you guys. Hi, thank you. We finally just got home after a six hour car. 
All right. Oh my God, I wish we would have left last night. The traffic today was absolutely disgusting, but it feels so good to be home after such a crazy weekend. I am absolutely exhausted. So I thought we'd just set up the camera really quickly and film a fun little debriefing and outro with you guys before we end off today's video. I had a lot of fun at Coachella this year and I really hope that you guys enjoyed coming along with me. Like I said, in years past, we've always done like a kind of just like fun montage makeup centered video, but to kind of like take you guys along for the actual full ride, including the preparation was something different for us, but I feel like it was a good time. So I have fun at the festival and I hope that you guys had fun coming along with us. Hope you enjoyed your artist passes. Hi hey. Trevor and Lena, do you guys want to come in? Join my little debriefing. Um, it was this I'm guy's. I'm so sorry. Please look at my. Look at me. <laughs> we all look gross. Oh it's fine. My like, man. So I think on that note, we're pretty much just gonna wrap up the video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed coming along for this Coachella 2022 kind of get ready with me and preparation and behind the scenes and vlog. If you guys like this style of video, definitely let me know because we could do stuff like this in the future as well. Um, if you did enjoy it, of course, please give it a big thumbs up down below. We put a lot of work into this. Give it a thumbs up. Share your love and support. Leave us a comment down below. If you guys want to follow me on my other socials, they're all just. James Charles. We love you. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Toodles. Bye. Bye.